Hey you guys, it's your girl April and today's video is being brought to you by Supernova. So you guys, they sent me this 13 by 4 Invisible Knots Body Wave Silk Face Lace Frontal in 18 inches and 180% density. The brown spot that you see on the actual inside of the cap is the lace tinting spray that I'm going to be using on the part because it is a little bit too light for me. I did sew an elastic band in. So this is a silk base closure, excuse me, a silk base lace frontal and as you guys know they kind of come like a standard color it wasn't that light for my skin complexion or my scalp complexion but I wanted it a little bit darker so I took my golden color yes golden color and wig extensions tinting spray and I just sprayed that only in the part area I could have sprayed it on the entire portion of the silk inside the cap but I didn't want to do all of that I just decided just let me try it on the part and see how it comes out and it actually came out really good of course it'll be a brown spot but it does wash away now these little flaps in the nape area as you guys see right here they drive me crazy they kind of um, make it a little bit more difficult to put your hair up in a bun or a ponytail when you have a lace front because there's that flap So I cut them off. Yes, I cut them off It does not take away to the wig away from the wig It kind of makes it like a lace like a 360 honey You know how the 360s be straight across makes life so much easier does not destroy the wig You just want to make sure you cut right where that flap begins underneath the hooks and trust me you if you want to pull your hair up Pull a little bit of your own hair out in the nape and you're good to go okay so I've done that to about three wigs and trust me when I tell you it makes life a lot easier when it comes to styling like a lace front that has a little flap in the back so now it's time to cut the lace on this unit and at first I was having a little bit difficult times with the combs because they were situated not where I normally like them but you know Hey, that's what a good needle and thread is for. I can easily just go ahead and remove them and put them where I like them, you know? So that's the part right here where you see me kind of like fighting with them. They were up too far in the middle, so definitely want to change those. And as you see on the sides, the wig is a little bit too big. It's kind of like over flapping my ear. So I'm gonna customize that as well right after I cut the lace off of the front of the unit. Now, I always say to you guys, this is old and I know it's repetitive. I always say it, but get yourself a good pair of small curved scissors. I know a lot of people like to use bigger scissors, straight scissors, but I think like for cutting a wig that has curves in it, I think a small curved scissor would be a lot more easier to use. It won't allow you to cut anywhere that you don't need. I just like the smaller curved scissors a lot better because it makes life a whole lot easier. And like I said, it's not more or less like a blunt straight cut, you know? So I just prefer the dollar, um, the, the small scissors. You can get them anywhere. Walmart has a really good pair um, that I've had for like 10 years. Um, you can get them at the Dollar Tree, like I've got knees in my hand, but make sure that you have yourself some good scissors. And also you wanna make sure you have clips for your hair. So that way when you're styling it and applying it, you have no mistakes and you have room to just move around and style the hair and nothing's in the way. Also get your rat tail comb because you will need it if you want to customize your unit. Now as I told you guys, the wig was a little bit too big. This is an average standard size wig. So some of them we will need to customize. I just take the rat tail comb and I part that wig right above my ear. So that way the wig will lay flatter to my head. It'll give it a lot more potential to look natural, you know what I'm saying? versus putting it and tucking it behind your ear which can be very comfortable and as you guys see look at that perfect and i'll just repeat that same process on the opposite side and this is the part where i tell you guys you have to have clips because as you see i have different clips i have a small clip in my head which is not really that tight but it will serve the purpose but i was having a little struggle here because the hair kept falling over the part where I was cutting. So I always tell you guys, that's why I tell you, make sure that you have some clips on hand. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. They're four in a pack for a dollar. I got the pink, the green, and the blue one that I'm wearing right now from the Dollar Tree. So you cannot beat that. Now it's time to customize the wig to my liking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna make me some sideburn hairs. Along with that, I'm also going to make some wispy hairs. Now this small little piece of lace that may not be really noticeable to others, it's noticeable to me and it will also stop the wig from, you know, looking natural. You kind of like see that. So every little tiny bit of lace makes a big difference, okay? So yes, keep that in mind. 
And now I'm just gonna continue to make my baby hairs. As you see on the side right there, that is the silk part. That is the part that I did not tint with my spray. It is a little bit too light, but I'm not too worried about that right now because it is on the sides. I'll touch that up later. But for right now, I'm going to use the Got To Be Glam Force hairspray to adhere my wigs like I always do. This has a really great hold. I do believe that you can get about three to five days of wear with your wig without removal, especially if you sleep with a scarf on at night. The only thing that you will may need to reapply in the morning would be your sideburn hairs. Take your blow dryer and just blow dry it on cool to medium heat. If you do not have a blow dryer, no worries. This product does dry quickly. So you can just either blow dry in small sections or you can allow it to dry with a scarf. But it does dry quickly. And just keep in mind, if you don't have a blow dryer, just blow dry in small sections, pressing down the lace with your rat tail comb. You know, I have done a couple of videos without a blow dryer. Now here's the blooper. Um, the back of my blow dryer is missing like a metal gate kind of like. And so my hair slipped into it because there's a fan inside and it's more or less like this mesh thing that's on the outside. Girl, let me tell y'all, I almost had an accident. A girl would have had to been rushed to the ER trying to apply her lace front wig. Okay, not cool. You want to go ahead and repeat those same steps on the opposite side, which is adhering your wig with your wig spray, your hairspray, your gel, your glue, whatever you're going to use. You know, I really advise trying out the Glam Force um, hairspray by Got To Be. You can pick it up at Ulta in store online. The first time I purchased it was at the Dollar Tree, and I was so amazed that I bought about six cans. And then now I have to purchase it from Ulta, which is pretty cheap. It's about $4.99. Now here, I'm just going to go ahead and cut my sideburns and wispy hairs just to the length to the length that I prefer. And this is optional, you know what I mean? But I prefer to have sideburns at all times because for one, it'll help your wig lay down a lot better, okay? And for two, it looks a little bit more natural, okay? So now that we got that out of the way, that's the reason why I like the sideburns. And I'm just going to kind of like shred them. I don't want to give them like a crisp, sharp cut, so I'm just going to shred them. And I did spray some hairspray on the back of my toothbrush, but on, on my toothbrush, excuse me, my, my favorite toothbrush, I've used this toothbrush for years. But today I was having difficulties. Um, I think it's because I gotta go wash the toothbrush. It was a little bit hard. So for this portion right here, you've guys seen me do this a million times. Um, I'm just doing it off camera. So girl, here is the finished look. I'm just gonna take some of my pressed powder and apply it to the lace because I did not use any of the tinting spray on the lace. There's probably about two inches of lace before you'll see the silk, maybe not two, I might be exaggerating, but I did bleach that frontal part of it prior to um, the video. I did bleach the lace where there was no silk because you know I wanted it to match perfectly. I didn't want any knots. And that's about it. This hair is absolutely gorgeous. Like I love it. It's very flowy. It's a body wave, virgin hair. I think this is a really nice unit. It's $200.48 definitely worth it. I will leave coupon codes below for you guys. I have worked with this company quite a few times and they do have some really nice bundle here. So I will give them that. So the only thing that I really need to do is just spray some of the tinting spray right there where I showed you guys. And it's good. Like it's goody. And this is what the unit looks like without the part, without the tinting spray. So you see where it's very white and then my skin starts. That is the reason why I put the tinting spray because I just wanted it to blend a lot more with my own natural skin. But I love it. This is gorgeous. I feel so cute. Like a whole snack. Like, girl, I feel like a snack or an instant lunch. Which one y'all, which, what you think? Okay. Make sure you check out Supernova. I will post all of the information below for you guys. You can use the coupon code LOVERS and save $6 on all products. Or you can use the coupon code HOTWIGS and save $8 on all silk-based uh, lace frontal wigs. 
Remember this one is 18 inches, 180% density, and it is a 13 by four, okay? So, and if you wanna know where to get the tinting spray, I'll definitely link that below as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think of this hair. Did she turn out really pretty or what? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this. I'm really feeling this unit, okay? Seriously, yes. I love you. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, bye.